While LA remains the timeless hub for celebrities, these days they're buying properties all over. In this series, we're going to be checking out some of their homes all around the globe. With that in mind, today we're turning our eye a little bit closer to home, well, my home, as we investigate the nicest celebrity homes in the country of Canada. Often regarded as the United States little brother, if you've ever actually stepped foot in the country, then you know just how remarkable it can be. Not only is it one of the most beautiful countries in the entire world to explore, it's also got the type of crime rate that's the envy of other countries the world over, and an education system that sees more funding than most others as well. It also just happens to be a multicultural melting pot with a culinary scene that's second to none. And of course, that trademark sense of Canadian humor. <laughs> I can't use that again. Stop that. It's a beaver. With a population of just under 40 million, Canada is actually the second largest country in the world in terms of total area, which means there's lots of open space for some of its richest citizens to build some truly spectacular homes, and they aren't the only ones. Some of Hollywood's biggest stars have also bought homes up here, whether they're Canadian or not. How's it going, guys and gals? It's Kara here for you with a brand new episode on Famous Entertainment. Today, we're taking a look at 10 celebrities who live in my home country of Canada, where some of the world's biggest tastemakers, musicians, and actors live, especially during the summer months. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. All right, let's get into this video. Well, my Thanksgiving was great. I spent it with a bunch of friends. Uh, I couldn't get home for Thanksgiving because there's a pandemic. We have to quarantine for 15 days. Yeah. Um, but I had a really good time. Haley's a really good cook. It's a real shame that the Biebs wasn't able to make it home this holiday because we're kicking off our list by taking a look at Justin Bieber's new Unbelievable Digs, a lakefront mansion in Wellington County, Ontario. Justin picked this place up in 2018 for $5 million. Located just an hour away from Toronto, this 9,000 square foot luxury property covers 101 acres and comes with its own kilometer long horse racing track and stables. These days, he lives there with his wife Haley, and they spend way more time in his native country of Canada than you May think. More traditionally, the home also has four bedrooms, six bathrooms, along with the good stuff like its own movie theater and private lake access, because you just know that Biebs needs to find a way past those fans who are lining up a mile long just to catch a glimpse of him. You've been here for a really long time in Las Vegas. Do you yeah. feel weird about leaving? Does it feel well, odd to you? Actually, I think I was supposed to be here for like two months, mm -hmm. and something went wrong or yeah. good, I don't know, but it's been 16 years. 16 years you've been here. How can we talk about some of the biggest celebrity names in Canada without mentioning one of the most popular singers of all time, Celine Dion? While Celine definitely spends a lot of her time living in the US these days, when she's back home, she spent her time in this $25 million mansion in Montreal. Until quite recently, Celine owned this French Normandy style chateau located on a private island, and as you can tell by taking just one look at it, absolutely nothing about this place is understated, kind of like its owner. The grand entry foyer opens up to three levels via a winding staircase and marble floors. There are six bedrooms and nine bathrooms, along with a formal dining room that's big enough to sit 18 guests and its very own wine cellar as well. The home also features a tasting room. I mean, how many homes can say that? I find a lot of my best ideas come out of, you know, climbing the grouse grind. It's a little bit zenish, a little bit meditation, and uh, and no, no pressure on the kind of the brain to think, and I kind of get the endorphin rush after. 35 minutes or so and I find uh, this is where creativity happens. You might not know him by name, but next on our list is Lululemon founder Chip Wilson. Not only is he a University of Calgary alumni, he's also the owner of the most expensive home in Vancouver. If you know anything about real estate costs in that city, that's really saying something. Coming in at an unbelievable 15,694 square feet, this seven bedroom, nine bathroom home was built directly on some prime waterfront back in 2008. It's somewhat unclear how much Chip paid for this home to begin with, but Chip's home is currently worth an insane $67 million. You're posting photos on social media of lost clothing you find around on the street, mm -hmm. right? Gloves or, or yes, socks. I, I find that What's to be the, the absolute best use of 
worldwide social media. This next one might not be Canadian, but when Tom Hanks gets some downtime, he likes to spend it in Muskoka, where he's got his very own Canadian summer vacation spa. According to sources, Tom first bought this cottage in Ontario after his good personal friend Goldie Hawn let him in on the secret that it's an amazing place to get away to. These days, whenever Tom finishes a film, he heads to Muskoka to get some much needed R&R before heading back to work again. Yeah, like if someone treated me like I was dumb just because I was a model, I guess in my own mind, I was just like, well, they're a dumb man. Continuing with our theme of non-Canadians for a minute, Cindy Crawford is another American celebrity who loves to spend her downtime vacationing in Muskoka. And while her place may not be quite as big as Tom's, it sure feels a lot more like home. Cindy and her family visit every summer to stay in this fantastic cabin that was once featured in the pages of Vogue. And after seven years of constant return trips, Cindy decided to splurge and pick the place up permanently. And this seven acre plot offers Cindy, who still one of the most beautiful women in the world, the type of privacy that she craves for a downtime with her family. I mean, it would be fun to play Regina George later in her life and see where life took her. Has um, that ever been a discussion? From Mean Girls? Um, I think only in joking. Uh, yeah. in um, but... Uh, not not quite seriously. Halfway through our list, and this next one is a bit of a cheat, but only slightly. Rachel McAdams is about as Canadian as they come, and she lives part-time in the great city of Toronto. But if she's serious about revisiting her role as Regina George, now might be the time to cash in, because the exact home that served as her character's mansion in the hit film just landed on the Toronto market for $14.8 million. This 20,000 square foot home comes complete with its own entertainment room, a wine cellar, six car garage, 11 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, a master bedroom with a private seating area and fireplace. One look at this place and you can tell why. It's simply one of Canada's most perfectly symmetrical and eye-catching homes. I just came on and say hi. I was sitting here listening to some old Ed Sheeran Lego house. Sean Mendes is one of the hottest singing sensations in the world right now, and while most people probably know that he's a Canadian boy through and through, not everyone might know that he owns a lovely condo in the heart of downtown Toronto. That being said, he's number four on the list. What it may lack in size, this home more than makes up for in comfort and jaw-dropping views of the six. Look, everyone needs a starter home and for Sean, this is definitely it. But when he's not here, he's spending his time at his girlfriend Camila Cabello's home in California. Now, you come to Toronto fairly often, apparently, and you have a very important friend that lives here. He and thinks he's important. And you caused some problems yesterday. <laughs> you may know him. Speaking of Toronto penthouse is one of the nicest in all the city, belongs to a pretty surprising name, Mark Wahlberg. Of course, if you know Mark at all, then you know that he's a busy guy with a whole bunch of different businesses on the go beyond his acting career. And some of those business deals take place in Toronto, where Mark spent $12 million on a 4,600 square foot penthouse at 36 Hazleton. This amazing home offers 360 degree views of the city and takes up the entire seventh floor of the building. It also includes two levels of private outdoor space which total more than 2,800 square feet. And if you're ever in the neighborhood, why not stop by Mark's Wahlburgers location, which isn't that far away. In fact, now that I think about it, that location probably had a lot to do with him buying the home in the first place. With the title comes the address. 24 Sussex Drive has been the Prime Minister's residence since 1950. Its next residence, of course, will be Justin Trudeau and his family, a return to his boyhood home. I can't talk about Canada without giving you guys a taste of where the Prime Minister lives, can I? Near the end of our list, the number two is Justin Trudeau. First built in 1868 by an American-born lumber baron, 24 Sussex, as it's known, has unfortunately fallen into a deep state of disrepair over the years, and Trudeau has been unwilling to commit the millions of dollars it would require to make the place livable again. Justin knows the place well, having spent many years growing up in this house when his father Pierre Trudeau was Canada's Prime Minister in the 70s and 80s. But when Justin himself was voted in some 30 years later, he decided to move his family to the residence at Rideau Cottage. This more modest two-story home features 22 rooms throughout and is built in a Georgian Revival style. We are like a college sports team. The Toronto Raptors are a college sports team, I promise you. I love Toronto, I love this team, and we're going to the, the end of the oh, Finally, we reach number one, and are you surprised that it's Drake? Dubbed the Embassy, Drake's 
$100 million presidential worthy estate has been under construction for years in Toronto. And now that it's finally finished and we've seen the inside, well, I think it's pretty safe to say that this place has a little bit of everything. Actually, no, it has a lot of everything. Let's just run down the list. Gorgeous living room with a grand piano, check. An unbelievable chandelier with more than 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystals, check. Studio lounge backlit with semi-precious stones, yep. A 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite for Drake to unwind in, of course. I think you get the idea. The man even has a 4,000 pound tub of black marble car from a single block. All that and I haven't even mentioned his NBA practice court. This 50,000 square foot art deco mansion can only be created from the mind of Drake. He told Architectural Digest, because I was building in my hometown, I wanted the structure to stand firm for 100 years. I wanted it to have a monumental scale and feel. It will be one of those things that I leave behind, so it had to be timeless and strong. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up our list of the 10 celebrities that live in Canada. What did you guys think? Was there any celebrity home that I missed out on? Were you hoping to see mine? If so, you can always check out the house tour I made before on my own place. In the meantime, sound off with your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.